hi and my camera cut off so I just wanted to say because this is so important so I was pretty much done the video but I didn't want to leave it like that because I wanted to say that you can do enough you are enough you can set your day up that it is enough you know you can do healing modalities and sometimes just sitting and relaxing and not doing anything is a healing modality it's healing for the soul right taking the pressure off not having to get up and do a thousand things and fit them all into your day and never stop and and wear yourself out trying to heal yourself right? sometimes it's enough to just say my healing day today looks like doing nothing you know, I'm gonna breathe some fresh air, I'm going to relax, I'm gonna drink and eat things that feel good to me, that are nourishing whole foods, and I'm just gonna try to enjoy myself and enjoy the life that I have, because this is your life, right? So your healthy protocol needs to be your healthy life, your healthy lifestyle, because you're alive and you're living your life on your way to being disease-free, pain-free, illness-free, whatever free that you want and crossing that finish line. But it's not like an Olympic athlete where they put everything else on hold to attain that goal. Because if you do, you won't heal. Because healing includes your soul, your lifestyle, your family, your friends, your social life, just feeling like you have a purpose in this world, feeling loved, feeling connected, um, doing things that nourish your soul as much as your your body and not forcing it doing things that nourish your soul are literally doing things that actually feel good and nourish your soul not okay well they said that meditating and doing EFT tapping and all these kinds of modalities are uh, for the soul so that's what I'm gonna do and then you're like focused on it but you're not actually nourishing your soul nourishing your soul is like asking your soul like what do I need right now and maybe your soul is tired. Maybe it just needs to sit down and take a break. Maybe it needs to eat something that you've taken off the list that's actually a nourishing whole food and you just feel like eating that. Like if you've taken, um, I don't know, sweet potatoes off the list because of whatever reason or if you've taken off like a nourishing whole food that you just feel like eating this or you feel like, you know, a pumpkin a homemade pumpkin spiced smoothie right or latte and you've taken off and you're using all whole real ingredients but for some reason you've taken um, pumpkin off your list because it's a lactin or what I'm just saying my point is this sometimes you just need to ask your soul what it needs and then nourish it maybe it just wants to sit down and cry Maybe your soul wants to just take a break and sit in a corner and have a nice tea. Maybe your soul wants to do these things today. It has enough energy and it's like, I want to drink 12 juices. That would nourish me. Or I need, I really want to meditate or journal. But, you know, your soul should guide your healing protocol because... A healing protocol that puts so much tension and stress in your mind and your body is actually not a healing protocol at all. Thus, in lies the irony and the round and round circles and why people can never heal, no matter how good. Some people heal on a lesser healing protocol and some people are doing everything under the sun and still don't heal. And sometimes it's a matter of your soul and nourishing your soul and your mindset and knowing that the protocol that you've chosen is good enough and that you're good enough and that you're trying and that you're doing the best you can and that it's okay not to do everything and that you love yourself and that it's okay to give yourself breaks and that it's okay to be kind to yourself and not beat yourself up and be your biggest cheerleader Right? Yeah, sure, get back on the horse, try harder, do more, but know when you need a break and know when you need encouragement and know when you need extra love and comfort and 
give that to yourself because that, my friends, is the truest healing protocol. The healing protocol that's like really in touch with yourself as a person, with where you are on this path and what you truly believe inside that's resonating with you. And then you live your life in accordance with that. And that's okay. And that is good enough. And that is the thing that's going to heal you. Because then you're going to be in alignment with the universe as you see it. In alignment with your own body, your own thoughts, your own soul, your own emotions. In alignment with health and healing and feeling good and happiness and joy. And all of these things being in alignment with them is where the healing happens. Not when you're at odds with them. Not when you're struggling with them. Right? It's when you become in alignment with them on all levels what your body wants and what your heart wants and your soul wants is what you're actually doing and you feel good and it makes you feel great and it makes you feel happy and proud of yourself and you can love yourself and so I know I came back into the second part to this just because I was cutting up the end but I just feel it's so important if you've designed a healing protocol that's actually not healing to yourself or in alignment with making you feel good and loving and compassionate and kind and to yourself, then you haven't designed the right healing protocol yet, okay? So it doesn't mean you can't do everything, but you have to feel good about that. And at the end of the day, feel, feel great about what you've done, not bad about what you haven't done. So there's just a difference. It's a different perspective. It's a different feeling. It's really becoming in alignment with the universe, source, love, yourself. And it's hard to do. It's not easy because we, by nature, want to push ourselves. We're perfectionists and we want to, we're outcome based. We want the outcome. But if you stop focusing on the outcome and start living the journey and doing the best you can every day, suddenly the outcome will arrive without having to have crossed that line. It's you, you didn't realize when you crossed it, you're just crossing it. So I hope this makes sense. I hope this helps on some level. And it's really important to tell yourself that you love yourself that you're a good person and then listen to that little voice inside you because it knows it absolutely knows and it's trying to help you and guide you and tell you and talk to you and speak to you and you really have to open up yourself to listen